I'm often asked when building mass AI websites, what do you do about featured images? Because just from a user experience perspective, if you publish 200 pages, but none of them have featured images, then your homepage and your blog roll carousel can just look like a load of titles with no images. I'm not a big believer in images for SEO, unless your specific niche has lots of image packs on the search results for those keywords. But nevertheless, from a user experience perspective, there's benefits there. Plus there's always the sense that the now that AI content is becoming so commodified, if you can go a step further than your competitors by such as including featured images, then you might get a little bit of benefit there. But it does depend on the niche. But if you have published 200 pages of AI content, then there's always this question of how can you automate the process of featured images rather than going through having to insert images one by one. Now, again, I normally say only a small amount of your content is actually going to rank. So treat that first 100, 200, just as the first draft. And then when you get winners that are really ranking well, then you can actually add images in there. But there are ways you can at least include a featured image of some sort in your first draft. I've recently done this with my lawyer slip and full case case study where the images that I've been getting are actually really good, even though they are AI images and they are imported as the featured image. So this is through autoblogging.ai where I simply tick add AI image and it says improved. And yes, they're coming out really well. So I really like these. These are really convincing. If you look in detail, then you can tell they're AI. This face is a little bit weird, but generally speaking, if we look at this one, it'd be quite difficult to actually tell at first glance that that's AI. So the kind of projects I'm talking about, I generally recommend things like local services, things like that, in which case if someone's looking for a plumber, a lawyer, a dentist, they're not going to be looking too much at this image. However, the issue with the way autoblogging.ai outputs these images is it simply basically copies and pastes, basically embeds these images within your editor which means they're not appearing as the featured image, which means they don't show up in your blog roll. And also they're actually hosted on autoblogging.ai, not on your own website. So on my page, benefits of SEO for local businesses, you can see this is a really good AI image. Apart from the text up here, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell it's AI. But if we go to inspect, then we can see the image source is files.autoblogging.ai. So that's a bit of a footprint to Google that it's an AI image. Plus you miss out on some of the benefits of having images on your site, such as your, your website being credited as the source of that image. If it then gets copied and pasted on other sites, you can then get a backlink that way. You can also optimize the, the speed of your site by posting your images and optimizing them, loading them through a CDN. So there are lots of reasons why you want this image on your site, not on Autoblogging AI's website. Plus it's a bit of a footprint. Google doesn't mind AI images at this stage. If anything, AI images are probably more unique than stock images. But at the same time, it's a signal to Google that you're doing this mass AI work. So maybe that's going to result in friction down the line in the future. So we want to make it look authentic. We want it on our website and you can do that by hosting with easy blog networks. So if I go back to this site and we do inspect, you can see this image is actually hosted on lawyersiffandfullcase.com slash WP content uploads. So it's actually uploaded to my server. It is on my website and it's also been set as a featured image, which means it appears in the header here and will also appear on the main blog roll on the homepage like this. So how do you do that? You go to easy blog networks. Now, Julian Goldie, all around great guy, met him in Chiang Mai. He's been doing a lot of work with them and he's been using easy blog networks because they're technically PBN hosting, but they make it very easy to get a website live and online very quick and efficiently. And that includes things like installing lots of plugins for you as a starter, inserting pages for about us, contact us, things like that. There's just a load of things that mean with PBN hosting, you can very quickly spin up a site in no time. And part of that is Goldie has actually given them and worked with them to build a plugin set for using autoblogging.ai. So you add your domain in here, this is all normal, but then you hit the advanced settings. And so if you come down here, you've then got all these extra options. So you can have the SSL certificate, that's another benefit of easy blog networks. Remove the hello world post you get automatically with WordPress, that's always really annoying. So there's loads of things here that just save a lot of time and tedium when you're uh, building a lot of websites at once. But it also includes Julian Goldie's plugin pack, and that includes the autoblogging AI images, where it says automatically download the first image from a WordPress post content, sets it as the featured image if none is present, and remove references to Excel images hosted on files.autoblogging.ai. So really good, comprehensive. I've tried to do this separately with other plugins, which import from Pexels or even still using Dali, I just found the quality of prompting was very low. Those, those plugins don't let you tailor the prompt that much. Whereas autoblogging.ai, they put a lot of effort into clearly tailoring this prompt so that the image you get back is really good. So on that basis alone, I'm happy to move a lot of my sites, my AI websites to easy blog networks so that I get the benefits 
of tools like that that work seamlessly with autoblogging.ai. So I'll leave a link below so you can get that off there. This is a fantastic tool and a massive time saver.